Hold on, man. Hold on. Come down. Wait, come down. Wait, wait, wait. Does Allah mean the God? Allah means God, yeah. What God? That's Supreme God. Supreme what's the name God. of the God? Supreme God. No, what's the name? Allah. No, that's a type thing. If God was one in a Muslim way, that one, you know, just one, nothing else, then who would he love in? The, the, the biblical point of view is that God is eternal love. And love must have a recipient. That's what Jesus' name means. Yahweh is salvation. But you're, you're not talking about Yahweh, you're talking about Allah. It's not saying Allah is salvation, it's saying Yahweh is salvation. Right, Unless cool. you're saying Yahweh is Allah and Allah is Yahweh. Well, so everything here we're demonstrating that we're not worshiping the same God. Yeah, that's, that's, that's completely that was fine. That's, that's, that's completely right. fine. Right. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fine. It's completely yeah, fine. That's what, but now, yeah. but now, when it, but now, when so it, then I'm saying that Islam is not an Abrahamic religion. Wait, 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 wait. Because this, this banner is, is, you know, I might as well. The banner is. I'm saying that the banner is that Islam is not an Abrahamic religion. Yeah, yeah, that's the banner. It's not. Yeah, 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 yeah, that's what I mean. So it's not, and so do you know what language you spoke? And names are important. You, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. He said he said names are important, but you're you're Christian, right? Yeah. So you call who, who Jesus? Sorry? You call Jesus? You call, do you pray to Jesus? No, we're, not, we're talking about God. Wait, wait, pause, 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 no, pause, no, no, pause, no, no, no. Yeah. pause, pause, pause. Yeah. Do you pray? Do you pray to Jesus? No, no, you're going to a different. No, 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 you're no, talking no, about no, names that no, are being important. Stand aside. Yeah. Wait, you say names are important. Oh, but I'm talking about the name of God. I'm talking about the name of God, the Creator. Okay, but if I'm God, pause, 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 pause. Yeah. Now, the one supreme God, the one supreme God is Allah. Yes. Now wait. What did you say? You're talking about names. You're talking about names. Yeah. You say you're Christians. Yes. So when you pray, who do you pray to? The God of creation. And what's his name? Right. What, what's he told you? What's he told you to call him? Right. What's he told you to call him? His name is the I am. Huh? He's the I am. <coughs> He's the I am. Let's go is to that get that English. No, no, what has he told you to call him? Let's use it biblically. No, what's he told Can you I to answer? Him? What's he told you to call him? Can I answer? No, what's he told you to call him? Can I answer? You can answer. Okay, right. He told Abraham, sorry, to call him Moses, the I am. No, so he I am. So wait, pause, pause, pause. In English, you told him. You told him English. I am. I am the I am. Can I keep this scripture? Wait, ask, ask me a question. Did you tell Can him I answer English? the way I want to? Wait, no, 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 no. I can't you want answer to the way I want. I can't. No, no. We're going yeah, to yeah. truth. Can I answer the truth? We're going to truth. Can I? No, you are arguing already. Do you want to have a conversation? Do you want to? Do you want to bully me? Listen, listen, listen. We're talking about truth. We're talking about truth. Okay, but yeah, but do you want to? We're talking about truth. Do you actually want to die? Okay, cool. Alright, let me go back to what you said. Okay, let me go back to what you said. Did you want to die? Bring it up. No, wait, hold on. Let's go back to what you said. You said names are important. Yes. Yeah. So you made that statement. Yeah. Now I'm mistaken. I'm telling you, la ilaha illallah. Yeah. The name Allah. What does that mean? That's, that's what, there's no God but Allah. What, yes? does the, in the, what does Allah mean? Allah is God. Allah is God. What God? No, the Supreme God. What's the name? Allah, yes. Supreme God. No, that means the God, doesn't it? Wait, Allah is the Supreme, supreme God. No, that's the proper name of God. That's okay, hold, hold on, friend. Hold on. Come wait, wait, come wait, come wait, wait, come wait, wait. Does Allah right. mean the God? Allah means God, yeah. What God? That's supreme God. Supreme what's the name God. of the God? Supreme God. No, what's the name? Allah. No, that's a type. That's his, that's, that's, that's how to address him. That's who his believers to My address friend, him. My friend, it's a title. No, that's how we're to the address God him. The God is a title. That's no, 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 that's who we are to attack. Wait, 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 wait say, say, fair enough. What? I am the I am. It's a title I'm asking a question. Well. What is the God, the God, what is the God's name? Right, but when you put the wait. in front of it, it does make it a title. Okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, enough for being a title. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. It's a title. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough for being a title. It's fair a title. Yo, fair exactly. enough for being a title, but that's the name we're that's the name we're to address. Okay, the right. God. So my right. next question is, is did Abra did Moses did did God say to um, Moses that you must call him the God? Or did he give him a name that he must call him? Remember when it was it was very specific, remember? Abraham, Moses asked the question, when I go to the people, who should I
God's name is I am. He's saying God's name is Allah, true God. No, no he God. no 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 the, no. Well, the title. No no he's it's the, the same name. Thing, no 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 it's not. Man. The name of his God is called the God. But I'm saying this person that's called the God. What is the name of the person that's called the God? Because he's I God, but what is his God. name? Look, because I'm saying in the Bible it's Yahweh, the self-sufficient one, Yahweh. A self-sufficient one. It's a name. And remember, very, remember in the context, he said, "This is my name forever." So okay. that means the name doesn't change. He said to, to Moses, "He said, this is my name forever unto all generations." Well, there, yeah, the, you know what, bro, the, the, word you, the word you there, you, the word you <laughs> there is <laughs> Yahweh. Huh? Sorry. The word you there is Yahweh. What does that mean? Self-sufficient one. Okay. And you so you, so, so do, you, do, you, do you see in the title? do you see in the name that there's a title? title? Do you see the, the name carries a title and not just a title carrying the name carries a title? Yeah, right, so, I understand that. But yeah. let's be more specific though, because Moses asked the question, who should I say sent me? I want some identification. And just imagine God said to him, say God, God sent you. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> my, my British passport, identification, <laughs> God's identification. No, 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 let's be serious. Because the question was asked, and you're saying that. So what, what I'm saying all this to say that um, Abraham and Muhammad could Ishmael. not have, it's a question. Ishmael. Ab could not have been referring to the same God. Okay, wait. But there's two different names going on here. Or, or at least a title. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Or, or, yeah, or at least a title against the name. Okay, do you know what? I'm saying? Okay, yeah. cool, okay, cool. Yeah. So let's bring let's bring in let's bring in other terms yeah. like Elohim and El. Okay. Which are familiar yeah. which, which are words of refer, refer, reference yeah. to God. Yeah, God has lots of names. Let's be wait, 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 pause, pause, yeah. pause. But these are specific ones. Elohim and El. Yeah. Now let's go to let's go to Aramaic, yeah. which is the language that um supposedly that Jesus spoke. Yeah. And Daniel, the prophet Daniel, yeah. which spoke and in, in their language the name for God is El which is which is which is similar reference to El or Elohim mm -hmm. and in Arabic Allah it's a shorter version yeah it's, it's not the same though no, wait, no, no, wait. it's not the same why isn't it why? right because it's right. E L not A L no 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 but no, no hold on wait pause That's it's important. not E it's not E it's no not no e. L because where you where do you go so where you go where, where you go where you go with different where you go so where you go ge geographically the pronunciation of certain terms will be different so it won't be it's not that it's E but it's so so somewhere somewhere but it so is it's not E, it's, it's not E. It's E-L e and versus A-L. No, but it's not A. L for Elohim, a shorter version, L. L, E, I mean the word E and L. Yeah, or E L O H I M Elohim. L Elohim okay, is not the same as A L Allah. Wait, pause. Yes. But nonetheless, yeah, nonetheless, the phonetics, the phonetics that we're using to describe the one supreme God is similar or the same. The reference. So they're they God in Arabic, not everything's going to be the same. But the reference is similarity. Okay, that's true. Yeah, that's true, but then but then then that, okay, that's very good. But then the, we're talking about nature and attributes and character as well. Okay, cool. When you look at the nature and attributes and character of the God in the Bible. And you look at the one in the Quran. Can we say they're the same? Yes, Are they the same? Can, no, no. We can. In terms of behavior and yeah, nature, course, how? Course, Tell me. Okay. Explain now. So in the Quran, it speaks of God as being, it speaks of God as being as beneficent. Yeah. And merciful, so, yeah. but simultaneously severe and punishment. Okay. So God, He's kind, He's yeah. loving, so, and He provides wisdom. Maybe, but at the same time, He's severe and punishing for those who disobey Him. Okay. And you find that you find that the same in Torah. Okay. But but there, okay, I agree with that. But there are still some key ingredients. That, what I would say are key ingredients in terms of how does God behave. For example, you find that in the Quran, God is not a father to any. Is that right? Okay. And yet in the Old and then in the Bible, God is a father. That's why Jesus. Is to God as Father, but a Muslim would never refer to God as Father. As a matter of fact, it makes it quite clear that God is not a Father to any. So yeah, we've got those general attributes, all-powerful, all-knowing, has a combination of mercy and justice. Those are all good. They're all good, but those are not intrinsic in terms of how God makes, in terms of what God has done and how He revealed Himself and how He ultimately is. Wait, repeat that, talk, repeat. Why is that. Why do you say that? Right, because because what you've got is what, I'm, I'm understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, that what you've got are the similarities are just basic things. Almighty, merciful, bit of mercy, bit of wrath. But then, but, but then, what is this person that has a combination of mercy, wrath, and blah blah blah? For example, and another key. It's love. It's all a love. Well, yeah, love. Where, where does it say? Where, 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 where does it say all is love? And where have you demonstrated that love and how? No, but how? How is he demonstrated? Because it's one thing to have. It's that light. Sorry, I'm coming. I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's, sorry, it's that light. It's one thing to have a name 
But you know, how would you demonstrate it? Like, you may say Allah is love, but have you demonstrated that love? The Bible uses the word love for God, but it demonstrates, it shows how that love is demonstrated. Where the, the Quran may say, Give me an example, give me an example. Okay, well, in that God, yeah, sent his son to die for the world. God himself. Not only that, better than that, God himself has come, which is essentially what he's saying, that God himself has come, entered humanity in the person of Jesus, and that, that's a, and the Bible is quite clear. This is how, he said that God demonstrated his love, and he said this is how he demonstrated it, that God sent his son, and when we understand how God sent his son, that was God himself coming in human form, and coming, entering human history and dying okay. that's how god de so demonstration one thing to say but then you can't demonstrate so the bible okay. says it is and it demonstrates whereas i'm, I'm saying so, the quran doesn't so sure. so prior to that yeah i don't although i don't believe that prior to that is there anywhere in the bible that god demonstrates love prior to prior to jesus of course there is other way to, in, in terms of what you mean so what do you mean see now the comparison i'm trying to make to you yeah. is that the god of the bible or the god of the torah yeah. and uh, um, the god of the torah and the god of the quran are one god it's one god unified yeah see now if you use the, if you use the, the the new testament to say that that's the beginning of god's demonstration of love then i'll say that if you're going to say that that's not the beginning it's so, okay cool so show me so, well, so well, the, the beginning is when god created the earth and created adam and eve okay. and, 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 and adam and eve the first okay. human man and woman okay that's god's interaction with human beings and that's okay. love and that's also love. And, 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 and and i'll say and, that's a lot so, so first so, so first that's, of all, that's love. First that's, of all the reason why the bible is saying god love my understanding is that my question is if from a muslim point of view if god is uh, if god is one in that way that we're to understand then who was he loving if god was one in a muslim way that one you know just one nothing else then who was he loving uh, the, the, the biblical point of view is that god is eternal love and love must have a recipient yes okay, if course, god yeah. is love yeah and he's only by himself no partners no associates who was he loving yeah. there's no one to love his servant no, 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 I'm talking about from the beginning that you say Allah is eternal, okay. yeah, he's existed by himself, always have from eternity, time in eternity, okay. from ancient times, okay. and he's only by himself, no partners, no associates, no husband, no wife, nobody, mm -hmm. apart from him in that solitary Muslim sense. Yes. My question is, who was he loving? Who is he, he was, loving or yeah, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, what I'm well, trying to say is, eternally loving. No, what I'm saying is, uh, what I'm really saying is Allah can't, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm saying that Allah can't be love because according to the Muslim definition, Allah is solitary and he had no partners, no associates, no husband or wife. There's nobody to love. And his love, love, love must have a recipient. His servants. No, there were no servants because Allah is No, okay, I'm, I'm, okay, cool. See, see yeah. now, in, 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 our, in our awareness of Allah's love, we have already been created. So, when we, when we think of Allah's love, we are always going to be the recipients and he exists. So it's for us, his servants. So we created in the beginning when Allah was created. No, I'm and not we existed that. with Allah in the beginning. No, I'm saying he's eternal. So we're saying it's okay. At this very point, very point in time, we can be the recipients of Allah's love. What about the beginning? But, but what about before we existed? I understand that where we are now, but before we existed, okay. for now, which he, for, for which now he is loving us because we now exist. Yeah. But before we existed, who was he loving? See now. You're bringing up the term, are you bringing up the term being eternally, eternally loving? No, I'm bringing up the term saying that in order to, for there to be love, there needs yeah. to be a lover or a loved one, as it were. You know, love, if, if, if I love someone, if, if you say I love, I have to love somebody, whether it's my mum or, is it, if, I'll give you a silly example. If I'm the only one on the planet, <laughs> I can't love anybody because there's nobody else. Yeah. I, I think you, know, you, can actually... you know, the nature of love by, by its definition, response to someone else or somebody else has to be on the receiving end of it you, Love. Can, you can take that to mercy okay. as well like if Allah yeah. is the most merciful yeah. on, who, yeah. on who was he being merciful yeah. before everything was created yeah okay or okay. most gracious as well see now see now them attributes mm. we are aware of them in relation to our relationship with him yeah and we exist we know that we exist at this very point sorry very point in time so when we say he's the most loving, we are most loving. We are to us. To us. Yeah. Most most merciful yeah. to us. Most beneficial to us. But but that is he still then the self-sustaining one? No, well, Allah self-sustaining. He's eternal. But, but see, that's the contradiction then, because so then he he needs us to love. He needs us to and be to merciful. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't mean he then, needs us. It doesn't mean he needs us. But then who is all this stuff being directed to? The mercy and the love and the 
who is it being directed at if there's if at one point in time there's absolutely nothing but him in that sense, in the Muslim sense, I've got to keep saying. Uh, one point not the biblical sense. One point, you know, you know one in the point. one sense that you Muslim say that means God is one almost like saying just one apple. Wait, that, wait, that, go ahead, but that's 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 also yeah. that's also in the Torah. Hey, or is your God is one? No, but, the, 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 but there's a plural unity covering that. And I'll show you how. Right. Because in, in, in Genesis 1, straight plural. off, it said that, let us make man. No, so, but in the Quran, we also speak, uh, the Quran refers to Allah. When Allah speaks, it says we. But you're yeah. saying that we. Okay, so right. That's Good. A so, 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 so who is the who is the we that Allah is referring to? Who else is there beside him? That's no, the plural of majesty. Because he's, because he's that, great. That, he, I know Muslims say that, but if you think about that in English, it doesn't make sense. No, 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 but, but it didn't come in English, it came in Arabic. Okay, but you're saying, okay, right, but, but let's use an example of that and correct me if I'm wrong. Like when the royal family does that, when the queen does that, the queen speaks that way, doesn't she? The queen does the we thing, we, 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 in which she's speaking. But she's always referring to the monarchy and stuff like that. And she might be referring to the grandchildren. So I'm asking, when Alice says we, because I've got you, this has got to make sense in English. I know, no, it doesn't have you, to. That's the, well, the, the no, but what I'm, no, but, but, but what they've done, no, but it does. It because the, no, it doesn't have because to. Because you've got Arabic scholars that translated that into English. And when I read it in English, she says, we did this we did that. How am I supposed to understand that in English? Because we know what we means in English. So when I'm reading that Quranic verse in English, mm. how am I supposed to understand the we other than in the English sense in which we do understand? Okay, you understand okay, yeah. you understand that Allah is Allah is supreme. Yeah. And because he's supreme, the titles that we go by him are not like how we go by mere people. Yeah. So he can call him we you can call it you can you can you can, you can say we or we know it this means him i can get but then okay i understand that but then i'm so then why would he say that if it's just him why 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 not i you know what you know what see now yeah because because you're a believer you say you're a believer you believe in god you believe in the one true god yes yes yeah, yeah. okay cool now there's a thing about being a believer is that when you don't know something you ask him if you want wisdom you ask him if you don't understand something, you ask him. That's true. That's, that's biblical. But, no, no, but, no, no, but, but this is different. I'm asking you different. about your faith. That's no, different though. What? No, no, no. That's, that's part of the faith. When you don't have knowledge... No, he, but Wait, pause. Not. No, pause. When you don't have knowledge, he's the sustainer. He's the one that knowledge comes from. So you go to him and you ask him. I have done and he's answered. He's actually answered in his word already, so to speak. Really? You know, that's what I'm saying. So it's different, but you, you know, well, what's different? It is different because you think, because again, even there is a problematic. Because who you say I must ask? Should I ask the God of the Bible or should I ask the God of the Quran? Wait, so it's, it's so so simple. It's so, so, it's so so simple. Yeah. You believe in the God of Abraham? Yeah. Yes. You speak the language you speak. Pray to God. How He's told you to pray to Him to get the knowledge that you want to get from Him. I have done, and the wait, result wait. will not be. No, no, no. It's not about what will be. It's about what you are. No, no, but they, can't you see that how that's problematic? Problematic because, in what sense? Right, because I'm saying that God spoke, simple. No, God's spoken through his word. He has already given the answer is what I'm saying. He's already given the answer to that question in his word. That's the whole point of his word. Okay. But then, but that, but I'm, I'm referring to the Bible, not the Quran. Okay. And I'm saying that the answer that God's given in the Bible is not the answer that I'll find in the Quran. In what sense? So when you say to me, ask God, yeah. I have to ask you, what God should I ask? No, 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 no. No, I do. Wait, 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 pause, pause. Okay. And the reason why I'm asking that wait. is because I'm, I don't buy the thingy that we're worshipping one God. Wait, see now, see now, see, see now, see, if you believe in, if you believe Jesus is God, of course I don't believe in the same thing. Right. I, I don't believe that. I believe God is one supreme yeah. and he's not. Of course. It's problematic now. No, it's not. God. Wait, wait, wait. No, who wait, about? wait, 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 wait. When I say one God, I'm talking about Allah. That's, that's the one true God, yeah? But I'm saying, but we're disagreeing. There's no part, there's no part. But we're disagreeing. Yeah, see, see, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm, I'm right. like, I agree with you. Okay, agree right. with you. If, yeah. you say, if you say anything about Allah's God, then I don't agree with you. Okay, right, of that's course. That's not true. That's right. not true. Of course. That's false. Of course. Right, yes. okay. So, but, but uh, this brings us back to where we started. We come full circle. That's what I was saying. I was saying that, what's God's name? And I'm saying that none of the prophets prior to Muhammad called God Allah. It's not true. Where so, did they? Aramaic. So, in the Aramaic, this yeah. is what I'm saying. No, I'm talking about the prophet. Show me where Abraham. Daniel. 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 Allah. Allah. No, that was El. No, it's it's, it's, L. it's not L. It's not L. It's L. L. E L. E L. L. You can't mix up words like wait, that. Wait, so what they used to. Wait. You see how you're trying to mix up? You can't mix no, up it's A L. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Being truthful, being truthful, it don't, it's not E. It's not. No, it's as not. in, you know E L, that's one of God. You know God, first of all, you know God, there's many names for God in the Bible. Not just one. Yeah. There's Elohim, there's El Shaddai. El Shaddai, yeah. yeah there's Adam Jehovah, Jehovah, yeah. Yeshua, Yahashua. There's all kind of names. 
but you know, there's all kinds you of names. Yeshua, it seems to be kind of like Yahashua. Yeah, no, 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 there is because okay. because Jesus, which is which in the properly pronounced is Yahashua, and it means Yahweh is salvation. That's what Jesus' name means. Yahweh is salvation. But you you're not talking about Yahweh. You're talking about Allah. It's not saying Allah is salvation. It's saying Yahweh is salvation. Right, Unless cool. you're saying Yahweh is Allah and Allah is Yahweh. Now wait, wait know. now. This is this is how it, it's very simple. Yeah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, yeah. Ishmael. Now that's the God I believe in. Okay, that's fine. Yes. But now, the wait, name has to correspond. Wait, wait. Now we have the Quran, and the Quran is the Quran is revealed that when we call to the God of Abraham, us we call to him as Allah, and he has other names. He Give says, me another name. Or Ar Ar Roman. Where's that from? Roman. 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 It's in, it's in the Quran. Okay. Roman. Okay. Yeah. Right. So again, right. That's another name that's not corresponding to the Bible. Yeah, but see, it may not. It may not. Right. It's in Arabic. I'm not that's, saying that's, I'm, I'm just saying yeah. yes. it's it may not, it's in Arabic. Okay. That's, that's, that's how he's revealed it. Are you pronouncing it? Sorry, how do you pronounce it? Raman. What does it mean? Beneficial. Raman. Raman, yes. Okay. No, sorry, compassionate, yeah. Okay, cool. But you see, again, you see my point's being made. That, that's another name you've given me that, again, doesn't correspond, correspond with what the Prophet said prior to the Quran. You okay. see, because the way I've got the history, see, is okay. chronologically that the Bible was revealed first, okay. and, and when the Quran comes on the scene, it, as it itself says, it has to correspond with what came before it. Wait, and it does. But, but, it what, does. but what Muslims are trying to do is the other way. Muslims are trying to see if the Bible corresponds with the Quran. The Quran doesn't give you that liberty. The Quran is saying that it itself, the Quran, has to correspond with the previous scripture yeah, that okay. came before it. Okay. But Muslims try and do it the other way. They look at the they say, oh, the Quran says something, the Bible didn't say it, so the Bible is wrong. It's the wrong way around. It should be the other way around. It should be that the Bible, the Quran, it should be that, oh, the Quran said something, the Bible didn't say that, it should be the other way around. By the Quran's own admission that you have no... No, exactly, I, I no, did, no, exactly. See, the Quran, the Quran, so when we read the Quran and then we read the Bible, if something correlates, then we say, okay, that's, that's true. And what if it doesn't correlate? Who do you go with if it doesn't correlate? You go with the Quran. That's wrong. That's the wrong way around. No, I went to the Quran. No, why, why though? Why would you no, go see with now, the Quran? See now. See now. Okay, cool. Wrong. Wait, pause. So, Quranically, it's in wrong. terms, in terms of, in terms of the Quran and in what it tells you to do, it tells you to do as the Prophet's done, as you will find in the Bible. In terms of what each and every individual needs to do for their own salvation, it tells you what is done in the Bible. Now, when you talk about other things like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe perhaps the names of the names of Allah. Maybe may, maybe that may not have been good. But in terms of what you're meant to do, as an option to do, as an option to do any, as an really You mean practice anything. praying? You yeah, as an option to do anything different. Well, even there is to tell the truth. It, well, but but that's the key though. Anyway, the key is, that, is and, and the, the key, key is, is not so much your position, but who you're praying to. That is the key. Not not your position or, or prostrating. Who you're praying to is certainly. Important. Okay, cool. Now, yeah. So you have that, and then you have the laws. And what you're supposed to follow. So, the laws that are given in the Quran are the laws that were given in the Torah. Depends and what you mean, which one do you pray? Okay. Not to, not to associate partners with the one true God. Okay. Yeah. To have one true God. Okay. Yeah. To take him as your what? To take him as your protector alone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. To take God as your protector. But alone. again, the one is different. What you mean by one is different because when it says here is Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, that carries, that's undergirded with plurality and unity. What, what do you mean? Plurality. Right. What does that mean? It doesn't mean one apple in the way that you're saying that there's one God. It doesn't mean one apple like yours. Because when you say one God, you mean like one. That's why I'm asking of the question. There is. Yeah, that's the, what but, I mean. That's but exactly the Bible what doesn't I mean. mean that. That's why you have God Where'd saying you get that. that? In Genesis 1 27, where he says, Let us make man in our own. So, if at this point in Genesis, then if God is eternal as he is, and then at this point in Genesis, there's no humanity, there's no humanity, there's no angels at this point, there's no nobody at that point in Genesis. And God is saying, Let us. There's no angels, there's certainly no humanity, there's no angels, there's no animals either. So, who is God saying to let us make man? That's a pure, the creator. That's a, who is he saying? It's a superior majesty. No, 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 it's not. Why, why do you say that? Why do you it's say not. it's not? Why do you say it's, that? It's, it's not. It's not. You know what? You're because, 
No. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, right, because again, in, in further on in Genesis, it said that God, see what I'm saying is you can see, it said that in Genesis, remember when Adam and Eve fell in that whole story there? It said that God was walking with man in the cool of the day. God is walking on the earth. Okay. He said, God, was, who's walking on the earth? Okay. Remember, take the picture of the eternal God. I don't think it was earth at the time. It was, it was no, definitely but, the garden, but not okay, earth. Okay, but let's look at the picture here, though. I'm just asking the question still. Right. But actually, you can give me something if you've got something. I'm saying, how is it that God, the eternal God, who, created, who from Genesis, in the beginning was the word, sorry, God created the heavens and the earth, mm. that same God is walking in the cool of the day. Without, how is he walking? He says God is walking with Adam. How is he, what's going on? That's See, God. Wait, the, exa the, example the, the, the example also is that God created Adam with his two hands. No, no, not literally. He doesn't say that's literal. Does he say it's literal? Well, I the Quran teaches us that God created Adam Does God have hands. hands in the way that we understand well, it? Well, it said God created Adam with his two hands. No, does God, no. But my question is, does God have hands the way we have hands? Does See now, hands? the scriptures yeah. said God has created Adam with yeah. his two hands. Adam, yeah. Salah, well, right, so what does that mean? Hands. Let me ask you that. that he created him Does it mean hands. that he has, has, has hands like this? Wait, see, it, it's quite simple. No, you no, can, no, it's wait, not. You can keep, you, you, can either, you can either take the difficult route and say, it means this, it means that, or you can take it as it is. Right, okay, so then the Quran said that God has a, other has a hand and a shin and things like that. It describes it say, Allah it that way. It doesn't say shin, but it says hands. Yeah, okay, so hands. let me ask you a question. Does God right. have, does Allah have hands the way we do? He said when he, he said, because he, he said that Allah stretched out his hands. He said that in various ways, that Allah stretched forth and stuff like that in certain ways. Is that, am I supposed to understand that he stretched forth his hand the way I stretched forth mine? Now, again, if going back to being a believer, this yeah. is the thing, the believer yeah. has a relationship with their creator. Yeah. Yes? If you don't understand something, you go to your creator. Okay, so I'm asking you. No, but I'm asking you but about I'm your scriptures. What, <laughs> no, but what do you understand about your scripture? I'm only asking for an understanding. Okay, what go ahead, do you yeah, understand yeah. when it said that Allah stretched off his hand and Allah and Allah's got eyes? As Allah sees stuff. Every time it says anything, whether it's in the Bible or the Quran, it said that in both books that Allah sees, God sees, Allah sees, God sees. Stretch off his hand, God's foot is on the earth, God stretched his foot over the water. Am I understanding that in this sense that yeah, sure, you know so how, you, I'm asking well. you, how are you understanding it? Are you understanding and that God has human well. body parts? What do you understand when you when you, know you what? Those? When it says God, yeah. when it says the Lord created Adam, Adam with his two hands, yeah. I, think, I take that like he has literally. two hands. He literally that he's created him with his two hands. Okay, hands like us is what I'm asking. Human well, hands. I'm, it's, okay. that's, that's my only reference. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, that's right. Okay, but it sounds human, doesn't it? No, but he came first, so it's not, it's, not, it's not like it's not right. like it's not like it's not like. So isn't that giving God gender? Wouldn't that be correct? Because the it fact, that, the fact God. that we're calling God he, God is not he is he as in a male. Because we know we know it's not, we know God is not man or female. Right, so but yet we all say that he when we're referring to God, because that's what you call giving the person gender. But we're not saying he's he a man like he's in our sense. Right, but yet we have but, but how else because we have to use human language when we're talking about the divine, don't we? And in order to use human language, we have to use human terms. But I don't think none of us are ever saying that God is a man in that sense. When we say God loves and God loyal and he's merciful. We, we keep saying he, yeah. as opposed to certain, we don't say she, so we're saying he, and in that sense we're giving God gender, and we're giving him a particular gender, a male gender, oh. but yet we know God is not male in, in, that, in that sense, God is not male, he's not a human male, is he? But yet we're given this divinity, in which that's the only way we can do it by using the human word to talk about the divine. If we didn't say he, we would be saying she. You would have, if you didn't say he, your only other option would to say she every time you're referring to God. So either way, you'd be giving him gender, whether it's a male gender or female gender. What I'm saying is you can't describe how... Give me an example of how I can describe God outside of calling him he or she. My only other option is to start calling him she. There's no other option in, in, in human language. But yeah, surely I'm not saying that God is male or female in that sense. Is that? You how, how you go by him, you go yeah. by how scriptures describe him. You want to make it up. Scripture gives him that gender. He says God is not a man that he should lie. God loves the world. He, 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 all over the place. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, but what I'm saying, but we know though, don't we, that God, the eternal God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is not not a male yeah, or a female, we don't we? Yeah. So then why do we keep referring to him as he? Because, because this, this is the thing. When, yeah. we're, when we're given scripture, yeah. we go by scripture. Right. No, no, you're you missing my point. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. But see, that's the thing. Okay, cool. Because yeah. then what you can do there is be, you can be dishonest. When you're given scripture, you follow scripture. Is that you do or you don't? The point I'm making is that, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, I'm saying that's all we can do. But, do. but do we understand, But I'm referring to this leg and the arm thing. I'm saying because we're calling God he, do we understand him to be a male? And I'm saying no, we don't. Likewise, when it said that God stretched forth his hand to his foot, we're not understanding that to be a male or female hand or foot. 
that's the comparison I'm making. When we refer to God as He, yeah, we don't I'm, mean we don't mean He like you and me, okay, okay, a guy. Okay, but and I'm that, still saying the hands. I'm still saying. Yeah, but I'm, surely I'm, not in the way of me stretching forward my hand on my foot, as in to make God human in that way. But that is giving Him gender, or giving Him human does it, part. Does it make, in, in him having hand does it, him having hands doesn't make him, doesn't give him. Well, a it does because it how do you understand the word hand? When you hand, you think of my hand, innit? Yeah, but women have hands as well. Yeah, of course. So that's what, that's what my point. How, however, it's human, whether it's a male human or female human. God is described, that's the only way we can... You're missing my point, aren't you? You're not getting the point I'm saying. I made the comparison in between referring to God as a male or female gender and likewise and descriptions of his body parts is doing the same thing. It would either be a male body part or a female body part. But it when we matter. I don't think it matters. It doesn't no, matter. I think that's good. That's, that's I know it matter. doesn't matter, but my... No, you but what's the point? Right, right, exactly. You've forgotten my point. The point my, you're talking my, about... You've forgotten my point. That's the point. My point was when the Bible refers to Allah stretching forward his hand, that surely doesn't mean a human hand. But yet you seem to be saying it does. Because you said you're I'm taking it. I'm not saying it. He, I, I, But you're I, saying I, you're I, taking I'm it. I'm saying I take it. I'll say I take it. Okay, right. But, okay, right. That's fair enough. That's fine. But surely you don't think because God is divine. Yeah, and he's eternal and he's blah blah blah. Now, if you're saying that, so Christians have a different angle because they're saying that God is not human but he's taken on human form. I'm in a different position from you because I'm saying that that same God that is not human has taken on human form in Jesus Christ. But you are not saying Allah ever did that. So he eternally stays as a deity. At no point did Allah come into human history, did he? In human history? Yeah, Allah didn't enter human history and took on a, take, take a body, did he? No, I didn't come into human history. Right, exactly. Either. So my position is better than yours. So I can understand how Your God position is better than mine. Next yeah. week, sir. Next week. Just yeah, next sure. Week. Yeah, yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah. No, right. Yeah, my, not better, so much as indifferent. I can say that God has a hand in the person of Jesus. When God took on human form in the person of Jesus, then I see his hand in his feet in the person of Jesus. But outside of Jesus, God doesn't have hands and feet, that like human says. But it's God, that eternal deity, takes on human form, he has hands and feet. But you are not in that position to say that because Allah hasn't taken on human form. So I don't see how you can understand the hands and feet to be anything other than symbolic. I existed before mankind existed. Yeah. So whatever form he exists that, that he has yeah. exists before what? As, as before we come in. Yeah, but it's a spirit, surely. Pardon? God is a spirit or see deity. Now, see, now, see now, when you say spirit, or deity, or whatever you want, entity. See now, when you say spirit, of course you're going to have in your own mind how that forms itself. Yeah. But scripture's already said he uses his own hand. Yeah. So scripture said that. Yeah. So it's not like I'm coming up to make up to, I'm coming up to you and saying, hey, he has hands. I'm just, I'm just repeating what scripture says. But that's English. Way, that's no, English. No, okay. No, but it still refers to, in the, in the word that they used to describe it, yeah. it's still referring to hands. Yes? Yeah, but that sounds Wait. It's still human. That's still a human. No, no, no. Hands, 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 hands doesn't come from human first. It comes from him because he created hands. Do you understand? Yeah, of course he does, but he surely his hands are not like our hands in that way. Human and he's it, not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Of course it does. It in matter. terms of understanding, it does. It because matter. you would understand that when it and you say it all the time, innit? it, Allah cannot be described. As, there's nothing that human or on earth that can describe Allah. Surely, that's what you say. Not, unlike Christians, that's what Muslims are saying. Whereas Christians can say that God has entered human history as a man, so I can understand God from a human perspective in that sense. In when He took on human flesh, but you can't. Allah is always a deity for you or a no, 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 see, or entity no, because He was never human. See, what he you, never became no, human. Because what you're doing there is that you're you're using your own ways of your no right you're using your own imagination as an explanation for God to do what no using your own as your own imagination for the explanation of God now what I'm saying as in God I'm uses his hands well you when, when I'm saying God uses his hands yeah. I'm referring to what scripture has said yes irrespective of but how what I, do you mean wait, what do you understand wait, by wait, what wait, wait, wait. irrespective irrespective of how I view that yeah I'm repeating what scripture says okay that's fine wait 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 wait, you you wait, wait 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 now as a person as a person who's talking about the scripture the most important thing to do is to refer to the scripture no I agree the scripture is the guidance I agree. now I'm not here to add to the I'm not here to add to the scripture okay. of course if you're asking me about my own opinion you know yeah I'll tell you about my own opinion. No, I'm just, yeah okay I'm asking you how you understand the hands when it's saying God has hands how you understand it well see now he said so so they use the hands as a way to express how we fashion him. So he used his hands to fashion him. Now he's using these words in a ways that perhaps for the benefit of our understanding. So we understand that we have hands. However that however our however our understanding extends itself, that's determined that's that's determined by how Allah gives us the capacity okay. to understand it. Okay. So you're not sure? No, what? You're not sure how you want to understand it. That's all I'm asking. Are you not sure how you want to understand it or how you do? You know what, you can say that, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm asking you. No, you can say that. No, wait, wait. Right. I've already told you how I, how I perceive that. Okay. 
as I said, he fashioned him with his own hands. Right. They use the language for a reason. Okay. For us to, reach, for us to understand it in some, in some way. Okay. He fashioned with his own hands. Okay. That's, yeah? that's, that's, right. that's very interesting. Okay, that's right. That's very interesting. That's cool. But my starting point was that we can't... Already, it's demonstrating my point. We're not talking about the same God. You know, of course. because are not doing no, the wait, same wait, of course, Clearly of course, not. Of course, of course. Because right. I believe in the one true God who doesn't right. die. That who doesn't was, die. That was my eternal, point. Who's eternal. Who doesn't slumber. Right. Doesn't sleep. That's your definition of God. No, that's what I, that's, yeah. that's, that's what I believe. That's the Muslim definition of God. That's fine. But we agree that God doesn't slumber, but not God in his eternity. But if God takes on human form, then that human form, who is Jesus, now, carries out human attributes. That doesn't say that's God, it's human difference. Wait. I'm agreeing with your term that God, that the eternal deity, God doesn't sleep. But if that eternal deity takes on human form, then that human form sleeps. That's not God sleeping, that's God sleeping when he's taken on, that's not God sleeping, that's a human Jesus, the man, flesh and blood, sleeping. When Jesus is sleeping, that doesn't make... Remember, Jesus said that when Jesus was on earth, he said that the Son of Man <laughs> is in heaven. Remember, he said while he was on earth, what could this possibly mean? While Jesus is standing on earth, he said that the Son of Man is in heaven. That's himself. How is he standing on earth saying that he's in heaven at the same time? That's the concept of God that Islam can't grasp, that God can be in heaven and be on earth at the same time. Wait, no, That's why Muslims ask the question, no. when Jesus was on earth, where was God? Wait. They don't understand that God can do two things at once. Wait. Now, the Quran has already told us, in respect to the Prophet Isa Salah with Jesus, the Quran has already told us that Jesus is not the Son of God. I understand that. Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. I'm just simply saying, I'm all I'm there. Everything here we're demonstrating that we're not worshiping the same God. Yeah, that's, that's, that's completely that was fine. Our that's, co that's, point. Co that's completely right. fine. Yeah, that's, that's completely what I'm fine. saying. That's completely yeah, fine. That's but now, yeah. but now, when it, what now? So when then it, I'm saying that Islam is not an Abrahamic religion. Wait, 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 wait. The, dif the, dif the difference is, the difference is, when it comes to laws. Now, the laws of God don't change. Now, when it comes to us abiding by the laws of God, we do it in more depth than you do, than a Christian. Because our laws strictly parallel what was given in the Torah. As perhaps with you, or Christians, it's kind of as you like. This is a go. Torah that you don't, this is another problematic area. This is, you, this is a Torah that you don't believe in because the Torah wait, is in wait, here wait. and you say that this is corrupt. Wait, 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 wait. Now the Quran, now the Quran, the Quran, Teaches the Torah that, is wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. Now the Quran teaches that believers, be, Muslims, believe in the Torah. To believe in the books that were revealed before it. Where are they? Wait. Those books that revealed. Wait, 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 wait. To, to believe in the books that were revealed before it and to believe in the Quran. Yes. Yeah. Sure. sure. Well, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Where are they? These books that you're to, that I tell you to believe. Where are they today? Where are they today? Yeah. Muslims are saying they're lost, right? Okay. Some people can say that. What See, do you think? What do I think? Yeah, do you believe they're lost? Or do you See, now I believe I believe the one true God, if he wants me to know that information, he wants me to know to know his words, right. he will reveal it to okay, me. Okay, what does the Quran say? Does the Quran say that the books of most of, of the prophets that what does the Quran say? Does it say that they're lost? The, these books? It is, it's not it's not that they're lost, but right. in transmission, as in transmission to those who had the books, when they gave it to the people, when they gave it to their people, maybe to their people or to maybe um, laymen or to Gentiles, they may not have given them the authentic information that was given to them originally. Does the Quran say that though? This is the, the Quran. It speaks. It speaks. The, the, it speaks. Quran it speaks, it speaks, speaks yeah, it speaks. It speaks. It speaks on. It speaks on the corruption of. It speaks on the corruption of those who had the book. Okay. Can I? Can, can we go further with that? Yeah. Because the, because would you agree with me that the, the Quran establishes clearly that the Quran itself has come it, itself. It says this book, meaning itself, the Quran, has come to confirm previous scriptures. Okay, yeah, and yeah. if you're confirming something, you're endorsing it. Yeah. And you wouldn't endorse something that you don't believe in, would you? See now. Wait, wait, you're right, you're right. right. But let me go back to what I was talking about in terms of law. Yeah. Most of us, okay, irrespective, irrespective of actually having studied the Bible, some of us are aware of the laws that are within the Bible. And we know, okay, cool, that's, that, that represents that. So when the laws are then reinstated in the Quran to say, okay, this is how you live your life, you're saying, okay, yeah, well, oh, you're, you're familiar with that. Yes, repeat it, continue it, and follow it. So you know, okay, yes. And you know, then we, then we go back to the orig origin or where them laws come from, and we know that's not from the one true God. Okay, that's cool. But still, you haven't quite answered. I'm, I'm trying to say that the Quran, because there are two things. Muslims are saying two things. They're saying that they will agree with you that the Quran is referring to the previous scriptures and saying that you know um, that the Quran itself is confirming them. And then they point to other scriptures, which nobody showed me yet, by the way. They point to other scriptures that says that um, men have written this by their hands. Now I'm asking. If once the Quran confirms something saying that the previous scriptures are legit, they're authentic, so therefore believe in them, 
if there's somewhere else where it says that people have written them with their hands, it cannot be referring to the same scriptures that it just endorsed, or that would be a contradiction. Well, if, if on one hand it says, just let me flesh yeah, this out, yeah, yeah. if on one hand it says that, look, this is authentic, believe in those scriptures that came before you, and then if there is somewhere which I've yet to see, nobody won't show me, that makes me suspicious, where it says that they've written this with their whole, own hands. Question, I'll ask it as a question for me. Can it be refer the thing that's been written with hands, can it be referring to the same thing that it previously said is authentic? If no, it I is, that would be a con Right, okay, right. So wherever if there is that verse, I'm not saying it's not there, I'm just saying nobody won't show me it. So if I do see that verse, I would immediately say that can't be referring to the confirmation that you just made. It's like me saying this guy's trustworthy, I like him. And then I go over to you and say he's a lie, I don't believe a word he says. Sorry to disturb you guys, yeah? yeah? The thing says, the gentleman is saying, yeah, Quran written everything, yeah? Yeah. But the Quran written then as well, everybody is same. I've lost you, say that again. The Quran yeah. written down, everybody is same. Okay. Like, from Hindu, Muslim, whatever, say, church, yeah, this, yeah? Okay. Everybody is same. You're saying the Quran said that? I'm saying that. Oh, you're saying that? Okay. On my religion, same thing. Okay, that's cool. Yeah? That's right. If the gentleman saying Quran says something else, okay. So I'm disagree with that. Okay. Because Quran is Quran. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Bible is Bible. Sikh religion is Sikh religion. Mm -hmm. And church is church. And they're not Everybody's always, same. And they're not exactly the same, are they? They're all the same. They're all the same. So you're saying, that they, every, you're saying that everything's one truth every, and they, every, they're not yeah. distinct. Everybody okay, believes right. together. Okay, well, I respect yeah? that, but I disagree. So that's yeah, my respect. I respect yeah. that, yeah. I respect I respect that's that, why we respect. I respect that, but I disagree respectfully. Thank you. That's why I respect. Well, everybody. respect. We, we, no, no, we respect, respect that. We respect you know that. I respect for that. Yeah. Everybody is same. Yeah. Okay. It's not going to be anybody like okay, different, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's up to you guys now. Thank you. That's key, though. That's you know? It's key because I'm trying to establish. Because I'm saying if yeah. if that's the case, Muslim time. Because Surah five sixty eight makes it quite clear. I mean, lots of verses do. It said that in, in Surah five sixty eight, it says that you have no ground to stand on unless you believe in the books of the Torah and the Gospel. No grounds to stand on. So then if Muslims are saying that the scriptures are lost and these are not they, All right. that they're lost, then we have no grounds to stand on. Wait, now see, who's we? When you say that we, you mean yourself? None of us would really. Who was a Muslim? No, not even Christians would, because it's a scripture that the Quran are confirming. It, it, it's, it's the Quran is saying that the Torah and the Gospel are the scriptures, and, and you're saying they're lost. That means neither you have them nor we have them. So none of us have any grounds no, to stand on. No, okay, but cool. particularly, you're talking about you. No, no, but no. We have a friend to the Muslims. We, we, yeah, now it's to believe in the fact. See now, first you believe in the fact of it. Because the book, so the information about what came before can come to you. But you can say no, it didn't come. But you believe in the fact of it first. Now if you get the substance of it, that's something com completely different. But the fact is, it can only be fact if you can corroborate it by evidence. You know, if you can say that, yeah, it's written here and then it's a fact. Okay. If there's no scriptures and there's no documents and you just believe something that you are... Because remember that something was first said before it was written, yeah? Okay. That's certainly the biblical point of view. The gospel was first preached and then it was written. Okay. So it was a truth okay. that was okay. verbal, okay. that was circulated. Yeah, 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 and then it was written down. But what I'm simply saying is, I'm, all I'm saying is that the scripture is saying that everywhere. And at no point does it seem to be suggesting that the scripture shouldn't be trusted. So if that's the case, that means that at the time of Muhammad, the scripture that you're now saying are lost existed at that time. So yeah, if it you know what, right, so if it existed yeah. at that time, at what point in between that 1400 years did it get lost? Because there's no trace of it getting lost. You know, if it existed at the time of Muhammad, and now today you're saying it doesn't exist, at what point did it get lost? So that means, that, you know, where did it get lost? At what point, you know, was it, you know, was it 200 years after, four, five, six? You know, we we're 1400 years later now. At what point in that interim did it get lost? Because the Quran is not suggesting that it's lost. I'm going to go again back to the stance, the yeah. stance about being believers. Yeah. Now, we believe already that the Torah, the Gospel, uh, the book that was given to, to David from the Quran, the Psalms, yeah. these are the words, these are the words of God. Yeah. But where are they written? Do we have them today? Wait, wait, wait. These are the words of God. These yeah. are the words of God. Yeah. Now, we have the Quran, and the Quran is already taught that the Quran is being preserved. So you can get the Quran and you can read it and you can study it and you can learn about the Quran yeah. and you can understand the principles that are within the Quran. Yes. yes? Yeah. And these are preserved. And yeah. this is the claim the Quran has made. That this is the preserved word of God. Surah 6, I think it's Surah 651, it said none can change his words. Of course. It says that in various places. Remember. Wait, wait, wait. None can change his words. However, people have, people have perverted 
the worst from their crop of prey. From their crop of that, prey. Right, good. I'm thank you said that. So that means that there was no textual change. So if there was no text, it means that there was a verbal change. That's like me okay. reading something and distorting what it actually says. Yeah, that's the yeah, right. That's, yeah, but, yeah, the, yeah. but the but 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 the document would still be intact. I've just I've just distorted it verbally, but the documents would still be there. No way. So that means so I could say to you that he said that Jesus is not God, and then you can read and see if it actually. Oh no, it does say Jesus is God, but this guy said that Jesus Jesus is not God. You know what I mean? That's a verbal distortion, not a documentary one. So you can check it. No way. Right. No, okay, okay, okay. So let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's talk about in terms of items. Having an item of a book. So those who had the book. Yeah. So those who had the Torah. Yeah. Would have been a scarce thing. So it wouldn't have been everyone that had it. It was pretty, pretty exclusive. So anyone who had the Torah would have had it for themselves. Now, for someone else to be able to to, be, to get that knowledge, they would have to probably had to write it down, or they would have re recited it to them. Now, so whoever has that knowledge. Someone has some kind of power because other people don't have that knowledge. No. So wait, wait, pause. So it's up to them to decide, or it could be up to them to decide how they transmit that information, how they transmit the information of the Torah. Now, as I said, that the Torah that was given to the, that was given to the Jews was preserved. So that means right, that so means so I could have the book, I could have the book, and I can and, and I could say according to my own agenda, and this is how I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to go give it to everybody else. No, wait a minute. Let's establish. I hear what you're saying, but let's establish something here. Do, do you and that's, that's, an, that's an actual practice that happens. Do you agree that the Quran says when it's referring? Because it does say that. It said that none can change Allah's words. Now Allah's word is Allah's word. That that means not just the Quran, but before the Quran, scripture that existed before the Quran was also Allah's word. Yes. Wait. Well, yes. Right. So, so if none can change them, yeah. That has to either be true or not true. It's true, and it's true. But then, if you're saying that the script has been corrupted textually, or are you saying verbally, because verbally doesn't mean nothing, because verbally can be corroborated. If I if I if I corrupt something verbally, you can simply check. But if it's been corrupted documentally, if I take something out and put something else in, you will see what I've changed it from, and you see what I've changed okay. it to. Cool. Cool. Right. So my point is that it said that none can change Allah's words all over the Quran. That has to refer to the, the scriptures before the Quran and then the Quran. All right. Let me explain. Let me, right. Let me explain. But then, if the scriptures have been changed and therefore we need some new scriptures to confirm that there was a change, okay. then that statement is already a lie. So I'm in a position where that Allah said that His words can't be changed; they have been changed, and now He's giving me some new ones. And saying these two, these now cannot be changed. See, see now the Quran is a, guard, is, a guard, is a guardian of the former books. You see my point though? I can, I can, You're I can, claiming wait, wait, something can, no, 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 can't me, happen and it me, has me, happened and then you get a new no, set let me, of let me explain to you, let me explain to you. Okay. Let me explain to you. So Musa Salah alayhi salam when he got the tablets, when he got the, when he got the, the instructions, he would have been the only one with that. There wouldn't, would have, there wouldn't have been duplicates with that. So for people to get that information, he would have to given it, given it to them. Uh -huh. But Musa gave them the truth. Yeah. Now across the generations following that, the first generations coming after the Israelites, the people who had the, the people who had the knowledge, they may not have perhaps given the people of their of their time the correct information in regards to the, in, in regards to the, the knowledge of the Torah. So Allah's word Allah's word cannot change. He said that already. But however, what someone else gives another person may not be the truth. Do you understand that? I do understand that, but now you've got to ask the question, is that what happened? Because in Deuteronomy, there's a clear instruction to say that you must teach this, which is God's law and precepts, wait. to the next generation. Wait. Teach you, it to your you, children. Wait. It's a keep teaching it to your you children. You are right. You yeah. are right. Right. But you understand this as well, that there were disobedient people. Of course. There were people who weren't going to follow the laws. Of course. You understand that? Of course. That? Yes? Yeah. So there are people who, did, who didn't But who then we've got it. to ask the question, is it the case that the majority of people strayed or did only some stray? Now, so that wait, they, wait. So that now, the, so that the material Wait, wouldn't have now, gotten that, now, wouldn't have been taught to next generations. If you read the Bible, if you read the Bible, and we can even go into the book of Malachi, where it speaks on this specifically, but the people who had the book, who had the Torah, they were not teaching the Torah, yeah. and they were not following it. They were not doing what was right. They were yeah. not doing what was right. That's always, it, wait, the, wait, wait, that's always the case with wait, somewhere wait, here, wait, there, and everywhere. Wait. And they incurred the wrath of God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can read that. You can read that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So again, the Quran reiterate, reiterating that to the people that this is what's happened. Mm -hmm. So the Quran is already saying something that has already already been yeah. revealed yeah. in your book. So yeah. it's saying this is what's happened. Yeah. So it's explaining yes. It's explaining to you yes. The word words of Allah cannot change. Allah's word right. set, exactly. set in place. However, that rose. So However, they cannot change. So that means what they were teaching is what the change was. The change was verbally. The change, while the truth was still there, they were teaching something else verbally. See now, see now, but, see. The, but the truth was still there, contained. Wait, yes? wait, 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 wait. 
You have to. So, so when you say the truth, we can look at it. I mean, I mean we documents. Look, okay, okay. Because Moses look. wrote down the words of God. Yeah, right? well, okay, yeah. okay, yes, yes. But it's going to be quantified because we live in a quantified exa um, existence. So if Moses wrote down the books, he may have had one copy. If he had that one copy, that one copy is with him. For that to be transmitted to other people, he would have had to either speak it to them, or as, as they would yeah, have done yeah. orally, or they could have or, went into the temple and read it. Wait, they, they could have gone into the, they, they well. could have gone into the temple and yeah, read it. Yeah. But that's still one. That's quantified, yeah. limited one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what point are you making by that? The okay. Point, the point so we established that he could have either passed it on to them, or they could have went where it wasn't read it. Yes. That's the way of getting to the knowledge of it. Yes. So what are you saying? So you're saying outside of that, what else could have happened? Now, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, now you have to be considerate. There's, there's thousands of generations. Yeah. I mean, there's thousands of there's yeah. thousands of people that come after. So there's so many people that need to be that need to be accounted for and facilitated in the terms of their knowledge. Uh -huh. Yes. So yeah. where it is, people who are given knowledge will not be given the truth. And that's simply what. What do you mean by that? So okay, cool. People so are right, given knowledge will not be given the truth. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so the people, so people who had the knowledge, they wouldn't be given the truth. Right? It's even like I've said, it's, re it's repeated in the Bible. And what do you mean by that, people? So if I said, if so, if yeah. it was written in the Torah, yeah. that this says this, yeah. but instead they write this says this, uh -huh. and they give it to you to say this is what it means. Okay. But you don't know because you haven't got it. Right. That's an interpretation. Though. There's not an interpretation. That is. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know because you're okay. Now let's go back to. No, the, I mean the interpretation is that they've said something and said it means this. Whether it means that what they said it means is, is up for debate, unless it actually means that, if you know what I mean. Okay. The point I'm trying to make, the point, and you, you, and the, point, the point I'm trying to make to you is that is, and this is what scriptures already said, that people had the scripture, they knew the scripture, and these are the people who were chosen to have the scripture. Others didn't know it. So someone else. So if a Gentile is coming to coming to coming to a Jew to ask for about to, to ask about the information about what's in the Torah. The Jew is incumbent, it's incumbent upon the Jew to give it to them. However, it doesn't mean the Jew is going to do so. It doesn't mean that the Jew that that the Jew themselves is a pious Jew. Okay. So they could have given them they could have given them a false information okay. according to what they wanted. But we have to assume that. It's not just yeah. a okay, have, one. You, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Assume that yeah. when you look at Jesus and yeah. his interaction with the Jews, yeah. they don't ever question the Old Testament. That's right. Because they Jesus, don't. Jesus goes the, that we're around. Was it Jesus. not said? And then, like, no one ever goes, but they didn't say that. Yeah. You know, when Jesus that. quoted something, yeah. nobody ever said, well, hold up a minute, did he say that? Because they knew what he was saying, you know, when yeah, he said yeah, that, yeah, they were course, familiar. Yeah, it was familiar to their ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they never stopped him and said, wait a minute, does he say that? So that means that what he was saying was familiar, and it could have and it could have been checkable. When Jesus said, you have heard that the law says, he was already saying that to people who already did know what he said. That yeah, was yeah, their course, book, course, you know, it was, yeah, their yeah, book. Yeah, it was their book. Yeah. The book. He wasn't referring them to a strange book. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like me loving any book. It's like me liking Martin Luther King. You know, so you say, you know, Martin Luther King was about love. I already know that. Now the point I'm trying just, yeah, you know. now the point I'm trying now the point I'm trying to now the point I'm trying to make is that in terms of the laws were never changing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. People had the knowledge. Okay, so there's people who have the knowledge and there's people who don't. Yeah. The people who have the knowledge, they can guide the people who do, who do not have the knowledge. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. But the statement is this that they didn't do so. They gave them the wrong information. But you have to assume that. It's not an assumption. Wait, 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 wait. That it happened. It's, not, it's not an assumption. Verify that that happened. Bring up Malachi. Bring up Malachi. Bring up Malachi. Towards the end. But what I'm saying is, even if it said that, that's just one. That doesn't mean that was widespread. Wait, wait, wait. Nonetheless, nonetheless, it's not being widespread. I'm not denying that it happened. That's why I'm saying. I'm not denying that it happened. Yeah, I'm not denying that it happened. Nonetheless, it's not being widespread. Nonetheless, it's not being widespread. Yeah. It's repeated. 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 Oh, but then for you to go on to the Quran now, I want you to show me. The Quran is a bit of a different story for you to try and corroborate it in there. I prefer you to show me in here because I'm not believing the Quran is the word of God. That's my starting point. Just like you don't believe this is, you don't believe this is the word of God, even though you're holding it in hand. You might believe certain bits, but you don't take the whole thing as the word of God. You know, even though you you, you know you, you, you have the you, you have it as the word of God in the context of the
and there's some bits to follow and some bits to not. It's all the word of God. It doesn't mean you follow all of it. Something being the word of God don't mean you follow all of it. It means it's all there. As Paul said, all things were given for teaching. It's all for teaching. You notice he didn't say all to follow, all to practice. So you don't get yourself 700 wives like Solomon. You I mean, but that, that, that's there for your learning. You know, there's bits there to follow and, the, and there's bits there just for learning. But that makes it all scripture. Some bits to follow, some bits to stay away from. That's all learning. You learn some bits and you practice it, you stay away from some bits, that's also learning. But, but what you have in a whole that is all scripture. But not the way you would have it. You know, take bits that suit a book that came after it. Because I'm in the position, you know, to look at the Bible and say, does the Quran correspond? And if it does, I say, good. Oh, cool, cool. Have you had it? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and he should seek the law at his mouth for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. For ye departed out of the way, ye have caused many to stumble at the law, you have corrupted the covenant of Levi, save the Lord. Who is it God. referring to though? He's speaking to the priest. The yeah. God, right, God, exactly. God is speaking to the priest. Yeah. Now the priest, the priest, they were to uphold the law, they yeah. knew the law. Yeah. But what does it say? It says, but ye are ye yeah. have departed out of the way, you have caused many to stumble of the many yeah. to stumble at the law. Yeah. See, they had the law uh -huh. and they perverted it. Yeah. They told people they can do things that they couldn't do. But right, but they perverted the, that what they said was in opposition to what was being written, the laws that God has already given. The laws of Moses, for example. Okay. So it was established, that's what I keep saying to you. Mm -hmm. It was established and somebody's coming and saying other than what's already written and already established. Mm -hmm. How do you corroborate that by going back? What that's what I'm saying. You know, if something's written or something documented, let's say the Ten, let's say the ten Commandments. Yeah. Let's just take the Ten Commandments, which are written. Mm -hmm. If somebody says other, something in contrary to the Ten Commandments, that can be verified as to, if, as to whether what they're saying is true or not. Because it's documented somewhere. Yeah, but because there's only people have access to it. Yeah, I know, but what I'm trying to say, that what, you're, you, what you're reading there is in context. It's not saying everybody's doing that. Wait, 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 and I'm saying this is what has been done. Some, and this is this is a typical thing in a, this is a typical thing in the life of prophecy. Things have been done and they're repeated. From generations they're repeated. Yeah, yes, but no, no. The let, question let me, let me to ask is: is it, is it re being repeated in bulk or is it now, just people here? There wait, wait. Were now, four what, what, now, now, going back into the time of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam during his preaching, of course the Quran speaks about this happening. It speaks about it happening, and it's not something. And of course, it's not something new. We, we learn by this. Yeah. It's not something new. Okay. So the, so, so the point you're making by that, by trying to use this scripture, you seem to be making a point that's not really sort of coming through because you're trying to suggest, correct me if I'm wrong, that this happened wholesale. You're trying to say this happened wholesale as opposed to here, there, and Wait, everywhere. Regardless, and of, saying, it, regardless, it regardless of whether it happened wholesale yeah. or not, it happened. And the of course, it did. Wait, 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 wait. But we're not happened, denying that. It happened, and the solution comes. Yeah? Yes. The yeah. Solution comes. But what's the solution? I said the Quran. The Quran is a preservation. The Quran is a, is a word that's been pre preserved. <laughs> My friend. So no, wait, wait, wait. No, it's true. But since when, though? No, since, since, no, since, this since is inception. Not this. Since inception, okay, but the... It doesn't make sense. It yeah, makes sense. Yeah, what about like when Uthman gathered all the manuscripts, the Quranic manuscripts, and then he sent out the standardized text and he burnt all the other manuscripts? Yeah, sure. Are you still filming? Yeah, yeah, let's do a wrap-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do a wrap-up, guys, because if anything, yeah. So let's just just conclude some stuff. Carry on, you two. Hey, go ahead. And just wrap up. Finish your point, so I mean, okay, I just, okay, so my point was just, um, if you say preservation of the Quran, I would just ask when. Because it seems like like there was a like Uthman gathered all the Quranic manuscripts and he sent out the standardized one. Yeah. So I don't know I don't know what you would see now again I'll go back I'll go I'll go back to the I'll go back to the reference about being a believer. See now the guidance of being a believer is that the, the one true God will guide you in a direction that will get you to your salvation. Yes? Now we don't know how that how that how that comes, we don't know how that is. But it's for us to ask him. Okay. And okay. he's to give us the guidance. Now this is this is this is the way. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, we could pick this up maybe at another time. But that's cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Sorry, my name's Hudson. What's your name? Wakeem. <laughs> Wakeem. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Jason. Jason. Nice to meet you. Five birds. Nice to meet you, man. God nice bless you, guys. Cool. God bless you. Yeah, take care. That's a quick wrap up in the Okay, right. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, yeah, it was interesting today. Very, very interesting. I started here talking to a young man who was in Hebrew Israelite. Very interesting, you know, because he, he's, he's studying the scriptures. And we were looking at And this is the kind of debate we need to have. That's what I want to say. This is what Sweeker's Corner should be. So I'm trying my best to sort of stay away from the screaming and shouting because a couple of things that does is it doesn't give people I mean you know Christians are here to learn as well you know the scripture said you must be ready to give an answer but in, in context of giving that answer we have to understand what people
people are saying too and try to understand what some of their objections are because they're you know some objections are reasonable you know so sometimes we've got to understand what people's backgrounds are what they're trying to say and that's the whole idea of spreading the gospel be ready to give an answer after you have a listening ear you know we have to listen first so it's very interesting today i talked to some hebrew israelite guys and some people are just coming to faith and i'm trying to understand things from their point of view that's when you get the opportunity you know to share the gospel and find out what people's grievances are if you want or what their misunderstanding are or where they are along the journey and that's what speaker's corner should be about that's what i want to go speaker's corner should be for everybody to speak you know be listener as well as a speaker you know good to listen and then you speak and then you can correspond directly but today was good and this is what speaker's corner should be this is what speakers call it, where we share ideas and you have the opportunity to share the gospel and then when you listen you will be ready to give an answer to everyone of the hope that is in you thank you very much thank you